How's it going guys? Uh, I'm going to be putting a quick video together showing how I installed this grill on a non-Bison ZR2. I had a lot of questions and I saw a lot of people asking on forums how to get this to work. Pretty much the best way to do it without butchering up your stock uh, non-Bison bumper is removing the whole, whole non-Bison bumper has to come off aftermarket from bumper. You can go whatever you want. I went with the CBI full bumper. Uh, initially, I didn't plan for this gap to be here. I didn't expect it. But honestly, right now with the winch, it's extremely useful. I have full access to the clutch and the control box if I need to. You're gonna need the under headlight trim pieces from a Bison, but unfortunately, they're not available to the public yet. If I were you, I would wait until AEV releases them. Once they get released, easy purchase, you can just put them on. Uh, you don't have to do any cutting or butchering of the stock bumper. That's what I want to uh, avoid. So, highly recommend waiting for these. The grill is available. They just bolt it up, no problem. Only issue I had with the CBI 4 bumper and the setup is right here, there was a hole for an extra bolt to connect the lower piece of the, on the headlight trim to the grill. Because the bumper pushing the grill kind of apart from this point, I didn't do that. I don't think it's required uh, for my setup. Everything's sturdy, nothing's wiggling around. I've been off-roading, I've been through deep mud and water, and nothing moved, so I'm not too concerned about any of that stuff coming loose. Different uh, bumpers might allow you to set them up, but this one didn't allow me, so that's the only part that I didn't complete. Alright guys, if you have any more questions about the bumper, or my winch setup, or the Chevrolet grill, uh, leave them in the comments below. All the product links are going to be in the description, so if you want to purchase anything, just click them, go ahead. Once these bison pieces become available to the public, um, I'll update the description with the link, of course, and I'll put it on my social media that they are available. Uh, until then, I would recommend waiting if you want to do the Chevrolet grill setup on your uh, non-bison zero two. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about anything about this setup or even my truck, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them. And again, thank you for watching and I'm going to try putting more videos together of what I've done to the truck and small things like this. Alright, thank you.